Hello Luca from uh, lgmphotography.co.uk and in this video it's going to be a very quick video on how to tether your camera with Lightroom 3 or Lightroom 4. Uh, I've tested Lightroom 3 and 4 and it works with uh, the D700 and the D3S which I'm filming on now. So, Okay, so I have uh, an Icon D700 which I have with an 85mm uh, Sigma and what you will do is first of all is connect your camera to a USB cable which will come um, there is a little USB connection which you will normally connect to kind of uh, download your photos from the camera the computer so what you do is you connect this um, as you can see, I am already in Lightroom, so this is just the library, so as you open it. And what you do is go on to File, which is top left hand corner, Tether Capture. Uh, I'm already into, so let me just go back. So Tether Capture, Start Tether Capture, and here's Session Name, so that will be the folder, the folder name that you will uh, have your photos in once you've taken them. So what you will do is you take a picture and the picture will directly go into this folder press on the screen so you can see it. Uh, like for example here I have the 3 s tether test. I'm actually using the D700. Uh, it makes no difference if we work with any camera. Uh, start number so you can obviously change the uh, photos number which is pretty good so each session you can have uh, already a nice and organized uh, folder uh, so when you finish it's all there ready and you pretty much press OK now you will have this bar that will appear here so uh, no camera detected so I had the D3S earlier so as you can see over here um, so let me turn it on there we go recognize it we don't care about this there we go ok Nikon D700 so is reading f4. Go, drop it down to 1.4 here. Um, we've got a speed here which is uh, live view. So as I put my hand on front of the camera, as you can see, you know, the speed is changing. Your ISO, which is high too, which is a bit high. So let's change this. Getting used to the D3S, and I'm getting confused with the button. Never mind. ISO 800. Uh, white balance auto, yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, so let's do a quick test. So put this up here. Uh, just quick. Right, there we go. First shot. We got a shot up here. Here, so what you can do is have it uh, this way. So let's take another one of the batteries, battery pack here. There we go, and next one here. So you can see, you can see the, the pictures. Um, and then obviously, it will give you all the details here. You can obviously set up this. So 55 seconds, 1.4, and it can just keep going. So it's not possible for me to take any more pictures, but just so you see. And you can directly go into the develop mode and uh, develop it. Uh, the other thing that's good is you can actually control the camera from here. Uh, you are limited on what you can do. Uh, you're not able to change the ISO, the aperture, or the speed. Uh, but what you can do is, uh, yeah, take a shot. So let me just show you. So I'll just click on this. It's trying to focus here. Okay, it's struggling a bit. Never mind. Just give it another try. There we go. So I've not touched the camera. I'll show you another try. So I'm holding the camera like this. And oh, that's the light. There you go. That's another one. So, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty handy. Um, I find it very, very handy um, when I do product shoots uh, because you take a laptop, connect the camera to it, take a few shots. Just get a very long USB cable, 
and uh, yeah every time you take a shot you can see what, what's happening here so it gives you a better idea of uh, what the picture looks like um, before you move on to your next uh, shot or um, it's just very important for your client to see what picture you're taking uh, I'll find out anyway but uh, yeah if you don't take it at home give it a try at home it's good, it's good fun as well uh, because you're able to control obviously the camera without need to be close to it. Uh, wildlife photography could be an idea if you have a laptop on you. Obviously, you have the cable running between the camera and, and the laptop, but you know it, you can get you know uh, extension. You can probably get the cable up to 10 meters, 10 meters away from your camera could give you a good um, um, a good distance between yourself and the camera, so you don't scare wildlife or whatever you're doing. Uh, so yeah, any any question? Let me know if you uh, want uh, to see anything more. Let me know and uh, subscribe. Cheers. Bye.